that I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. Hey, whatever you say, Grumpy McGrumpleston. Rebellion. Sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Dear Anne, Hogwarts and the famous out you. Well, Shope is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Steal his apples. It's not here. Okay. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be, Anne. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's talk to Annie Anne. Right, Anne. Annie, are you okay? to intrude. You didn't. Truly. And I'm alright. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. No. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. <laughs> and she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. <sighs> I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I got argue with a sick woman. I mm. wish you well. Ghost. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. His daughter. How are you doing, Sebastian? I think. You've got a first hand no, of what I'm no dealing uncle. with. Lipter. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. Fair. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Okay. Randolph's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Revelio. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. I mean, that just sounds like an excuse for me to go beat some shit in. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Okay. How much longer are we expected to dig for this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Dead wizard. And Fringo. Uh, no! 
Two for the point. One. Thank you. Say, buddy. Could have gone better. I tried to warn you. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. <laughs> Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It sounds as if the loyalists attacked them without cause. I wouldn't put it past them, mm -hmm. but I'm convinced that they were trying to hide something. It may be grasping at Billywigs. The fact of Billywigs, there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Sure. They seem Rebellion. to set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. <laughs> Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. Nifty. It might be worth Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian. I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? They have the view moment. back here? I'll explain in a second. Here we go. Revelio. Sebastian. 
Over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? It could be. But it looks to me as though this was intention. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor. Hundreds of years ago. Who? Okay. What do you... I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? Mm. And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories mm. left by keepers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. Yes. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Revelio. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Huh, a stairwell. Hmm. Lumos. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. Lumos. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. Expelliarmus! Confringo! Lumos. It is my second week in the camp. More alive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing what they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by the loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend and scar, but the devastating source remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think the, that the others are wrong. I have the power to keep these souls. No, to help these souls, not keep them. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of torment. A journal entry of his adorers. I should hold on to this. I traveled here to learn, but I longed to help. My internal struggles are overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to do he to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I ever forget? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. It could further my research, of course, but that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Revelio. Lumos. Repero. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Expelliarmus. Confringo. Incendio. Clopendo. Levioso. Accio. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? 
a daydream. Because that happens to me too. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. I know it sounds strange, but honestly, I... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait, we can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now, even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Before the thing can touch me. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Ooh. What's this? A map of some sort? Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. <laughs> Let's have a look. Damn. Didn't mean to do that. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago. And Ranrock and his lot have been searching them. Okay. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to see Anne would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Damn it. Give me. Damn it, I want my spell my dog spell. Give me them. I need them. I want to be evil.
Time to give her this. Much nicer. Oh, one handle. Whoop, whoop. And I feel that. I do feel this though. I probably should. I do want actually. Hold on, let's see. Like, Go ahead and drop a save because it has been a hot minute. I never actually turned this quest in. That would be a smart thing to do. Go this way. Confringo. Incendio. I'm sure I'll come back eventually. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? Hmm. I received your mail. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. Blah, blah, blah. He normally sends me owls every week. Blah, blah, blah. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumor. Should I be worried about my uncle? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. You're much more understanding. She's convinced I ugh, could. I'll try. Thank you. In fact, in his love, I do hope you're. Alrighty. Where was I? What was I doing? to follow one of the Dedalian keys. I never fall. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of them. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Oh, well... Thank you. Do some side questing now. Give Sebastian a chance to load through some shenaniganry. This be Mr. Oaks' campsite. Ranrock's loyalists, just ahead. 
was. Yeah, and now a human. No. You died too. Rasselot agreed to meet, but I do feel a tad uneasy. They amended the request and were angry when I asked questions. I heard some of them playing gobbledygook. They asked my metal deposit that are so beautiful doing. I'm afraid if I'm saying them further, it seemed rather volatile, and I need this transaction to happen. Perhaps we can look at a car, but that's perhaps not. Revelio. said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Rependo! Capulso! Lumos. This looks intriguing. the deafening. Okay. Done here. I'm going straight to the Hogshead. Or perhaps I'll just go there. It's a great. Someone's going to regret something. Defender. What the hell? I shall Levy get that goblin hell back. Hopefully from your corpse. Careful now. None of that potato. If it isn't, nor a Let's trip. Thank you. <laughs> 